Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo, and the Patreon family. We work it. Now, I'm really not going to spend too much time on this particular video because it's really all over the place. Oscar De La Hoya, he did an interview with Fight Hype. Shout out to them. Link in the description. I also have it on my Instagram, at Boxing Ego. And he's basically almost backing off the blocks. You guys take a listen to it. You see the screenshot and you see it has 90 dislikes. And he's, he's basically being asked about um, the comments. Someone the, like the reporter saying, hey, a lot of people are calling you a hypocrite for saying what you said about Mayweather and then turning around saying you would fight Conor McGregor. His reply makes no sense because he he's, he's trying to minimize it. He said, oh, hey, I just said that I could knock out Conor in two rounds. Like, yeah, you said that, but you also said more. You also said, hey, bro, I've been secretly training. And you said you would come out of retirement to fight Conor McGregor. So if you're going to if you're going to rebuttal, kind of rebuttal the whole argument, like unless you for whatever reason don't remember what you said. You know what I'm saying? And, and if that's the case, then that's a problem. Because this interview, it's not like someone drug up an interview you said from 2013 and it just now surfaced and people are asking you to recite it. I mean, this was just, this your dude with Golden Boy just got the radio show, the tattoo guy. Um, so it's, it's not like, this is recent news. You should be able to be held accountable for what you say. So it, he's like trying to minimize it and say, hey, I just said I would knock out Connor. Like, that's not all you said. You said you would come out of retirement and you haven't fought since 2008 when you fought Pacquiao to do so. And you said you've been secretly training. You're faster and stronger than ever. You know what I mean? So it's weird that he omitted all of that. And then at the beginning of the interview, he's talking about how he's starting to like Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather is doing whatever I guess he feels he's doing outside of the ring. And it's, it's making him like his personality. And he said something like, because I judge I judge a fighter what they do outside of the ring. And just, I, the casuals say stuff like that. It, like, why are we judging boxers based on their personal life and personal decisions? Like, I understand if he was like bombing churches or doing something like heinous mass murder or something like that, a serial killer. But I mean, we all make mistakes in, in, in terms of regular life. Shouldn't we be criticizing and critiquing boxers based on their boxing? You know what I mean? Not so much, oh, he's not married and he has seven girlfriends. I don't care about that type of stuff. You know what I mean? The domestic violence, like, I can understand people being offended. But, I mean, truth is, none of us really know the facts and the details of that situation. You know what I mean? I don't know one person that was in court when they were um, admitting it. And I, I'm pretty sure they didn't have any pictures or anything. So, you know what I mean? You didn't hear testimonies. So, how do you know what happened? So that's just my thoughts on De La Hoya. I don't know what his aim is. I don't know if he, he's just trying to make headlines and stuff, but it, it's a bad look when you keep making contradictory statements because this is the age of the internet. Like they said on Superbad, people don't forget. People don't forget what you said last week. And you, even if you try to minimize it and you know what I mean? It just makes you look bad in the end. And, and truth be told, I could do that on YouTube. Mayweather has Christina Milian alien baby. I could put all these crazy titles and make people click on it and then there's nothing. You know what I mean? That's what they call clickbait. So it's not really just making headlines because there's a ton of ways to do that. Conor McGregor cheats on his girl. You know what I'm saying? And then people would click on the video and you find out I was lying. You know what I mean? So to me, you have to have some couth, some integrity to what you're saying. I mean, if you really want to come out of retirement, say that. But then if that is the standpoint, you want to come out of retirement to fight an MMA fighter, why are you now in this fight hype interview saying, yeah, I, I don't condone a boxer fighting an MMA fighter. Then why'd you call out Connor? Connor wasn't talking about you. Connor's on yachts and um, wearing suits and playing with this kid. You know what I'm saying? So 
De La Hoya to me is all over the place. Watch the interview. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.